I think that we shouldn't underestimate any word of the Buddha. Even the word self is the self. See, what is it? Begin from just one word to find out the truth of any reality as it is now. See, that's why we learn that we, how much ignorance is there when there is the idea of I'm sitting here. See, actually, what sit? Can the hardness sit? See, can the eye sit? Can the ear sit? So, but there's still the idea of I am sitting. So where is the I? If there's nothing at all, can there be world, a world, star, moon, or anything, when nothing ar not arises? But whenever whatever arises, it's something. Ignorance is there, not know the nature of it, the truth of it, whether it can experience or it cannot experience. No understanding of any reality at all when it's there. That's why we need to listen to the teaching of the Buddha and consider each word to understand the truth that actually it leads to the understanding clearly and clearly there is no I at all. Seeing is seeing only. Where is it? See, I am sitting, but the I, when it's sitting, it's not seeing. It's only thinking. So that's why the world is mixed with moments of reality arising and falling away all the time, unknown. For example, now, even Buddha said that before seeing, there is the citta, which is not Pawanka, it is Panchatvara Vajna, but it does not appear, no way to understand it at all, because it does not appear. So in life, if even Buddha taught about many, many realities from moment to moment. It depends on what appears only can be known as it is. That's why seeing is now ceased, and seeing cannot be I or anyone or anything. It's only a reality which performs the function of seeing. It cannot do anything at all. It's only condition to see, no matter whether it likes or dislikes or don't want anything at all. Because it's not that nature. That nature is that which is conditioned to arise just to see. Each word should be clearer and clearer to understand that actually it cannot be anything else beside seeing. So, where are you now? Here? or nowhere, because seeing gone, everything gone. Just to know its nature as that which just conditioned to arise and see, arise and hear, that's all. No I at all. So it's wrong to take that which is conditioned to arise and then falls away instantly as I still there. I see it's wrong. That's why no I, no one, no person, no thing, only that which is conditioned to arise and falls away. When there is confidence on the truth, it will bring more and more understanding the other word of the Buddha. Like the word anatta, see, no self, no one, no thing. No control. Because there is no one to control. Or to make it arise, or fall away. It's through each moment, whenever what arises is conditioned, to arise and then fall away instantly. That's why it cannot be known, only panya which develops to the degree that it can understand that. At that moment, no thought, no thinking about that. Like seeing, no thinking that I am seeing, but it sees. It sees. The seeing sees, no I.
But when there is no understanding of the truth of any reality, it is, I see, I hear, I think, I like, I dislike, or I is there each moment. Wrong understanding with ignorance and other akusra dhamma. Firm confidence on no one at all. Only different realities. What appears as nimitta, if it's not broken up, how can there be the understanding of it is not anything, as we used to take it for something all the time? Even right now, it's time to begin to understand the truth, little by little. No I who try so much to have more understanding of this and that, but just begin to understand that this moment, there cannot be anyone to be found as someone, something. It's much better than thinking about, I study this, I consider that, see, I all the time. That's why we learn about the absolute truth, that actually there are only citta, citta-sikha, and rupa. From moment to moment, to be forgotten completely after death, like Last life, completely gone. And this moment is going to be last life of next life. Just arise and to be forgotten. What about yesterday? Do you forget or do you remember? Those um, different realities again all are only dhammas, different kinds, different characteristics. 